We are here in beautiful, sunny Philadelphia to take a look at the all new 2018 Honda Clarity plug-in. This is an Easy EV Review. all electric power which is a lot more than a lot of the other cars out there it's gonna get 110 mpge and if you don't know what that means we'll put a link below to an article that we wrote on ezv.com on mpge all right so let's talk about charging this car if you're gonna charge it on a regular 12 volt uh, charger you're gonna get it's gonna take about 12 hours to charge which is not bad and you get home from work, you plug in the car, you charge it. That's with your regular 12 volt home charger. Now, if you have a 240 volt, which is the electric car charger, which you can get from a lot of different companies, you can buy it on Amazon, that'll bring you up to two and a half hours to get you up to a full charge. That's nothing. And EV, we love talking about electric cars. We love talking about how electric cars look because they look so different. And this Honda Clarity plug-in is no different. Take a look at this thing. The front, I love the front. You see, it's mean in the front, and there are no better front day headlights than these right here. These are always on. So you're cruising down the street, and these front headlights will stay on, so it looks really mean. In addition to that, all the sensors for the car's cruise control, the, the uh, automatic uh, cruise control is in the Honda sign. So those annoying little, uh, you know, little holes in the car are not there. They're all in the Honda sign, which is actually very cool. Now, let's take a look at the side of the car, which is really interesting. I don't like this. I don't like the little covering here. I don't like the way it looks. I think it looks a little weird, and I, I, I wish it should maybe if it came down a little bit more, but it's kind of halfway there. Right here is a little air vent. As the car is driving, the air will actually flow through the air vent out through the side of the car just to, uh, you know, to get less drag uh, so you can save as much electricity as possible. So as ugly as it looks, there's a reason for it, and I kind of like that. All right, as great as the front of the car looks, unfortunately, the back of the car is not as nice. It kind of goes from mean and skinny in the front to kind of like a little fatter in the back. Uh, but apart from that, again, this car is full of good reasoning. And the reason for that is this giant 15.1 foot cubic uh, trunk. The back seats actually go forward to give you more room. So you can actually take the back seats and push them forward. It's very simple. You want to put the seats down, get some more room in the trunk. Very simple. You just pull this. That back seat, these two back seats will open and uh, you just put them down and it just give you so much more uh, trunk space than you had before. It's important that every car has a great back seat. Oh, it's actually very comfortable. It's a lot of room. Uh, and what's really cool about this car is the integrated phone holders right in the seat. So I can just kind of just, you know, pop that in there. Uh, perfect for, you know, all the kids, uh, even a, like an adult. Most adults can just sit back here. It's a very, very roomy. All right, let's hop in this car and see what it's like to drive. All right, so the best part about this car is it's actually just so smooth. Um, and because it's electric, of course, you, you don't hear any noise. Uh, apart from that, the first thing I realized when I got in the car is how comfortable these seats are. Like, they, you, they just contour to your body. And I think Honda really put a big focus on the seats. And I don't say that about a lot of cars. So that's really interesting. Uh, apart from that, let's talk about the driving modes, right? So you got uh, Econ, which is your standard um, driving, which switches between electric and gas. Then you got Sport which is just full throttle, gives it a little more power. Um, obviously, you're probably not gonna wanna use that when you're trying to save the environment. The last mode on the car, which is the, one of the most interesting modes, is HV mode, which I'm gonna press right now. It's best for long drive. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna use the gas for most of the drive, 
um, and then towards the end switch to electric so it's better for those long highway uh, you know road trips with the family and, and, and things like that which I think is really cool so apart from those modes uh, we actually got this really nice 8 inch touch screen which is pretty responsive I mean it's not the best looking interface in the world but it does have Apple CarPlay which I love when something has Apple CarPlay because it's just so easy to use and it gives you all access to a lot of apps. You, know, you got like Waze you can use, which we've been using today. Um, you can actually check your messages, Apple Maps if you want to use that. Um, apart from that, you actually have Spotify controls, which is great. So play, pause, um, and it's just really uh, straightforward, really, really easy to use. Um, and fun too, because you're actually using your phone on the heads-up display. You don't have to worry about the slow, sluggish Honda uh, user interface that you would have to deal with before. Um, also, which we had to get a little used to were these uh, gear changes. There's no, you know, shifter. It's all button-based. So that's drive, park, re reverse, neutral. So what's great about this car is actually the interior. It really, it doesn't feel like a Honda. It actually doesn't. It's got uh, all the materials in the car including the leather, is all recycled, which is really, really cool. And it's a trend that a lot of other cars, are, a lot of other electric cars are using, like the BMW i8 and the i3. Um, along with that, all right, so what's really cool about this car is it's also got semi-autonomous, you know, kind of autonomous features, meaning the car does some things on its own. It's got dynamic cruise control. Uh, it's also got forward collision warning, which is also pretty cool. Another great thing a lot of Hondas have and a lot of other cars don't have, which I don't understand why, because it's a great feature. You're turning the car, and when you're turning, the heads-up display will actually, your heads-up display will actually show me uh, what, what I'm turning into, which is actually pretty cool. Another great feature this car has that a lot of other plug-in hybrids also have is the regenerative braking. So what it does is actually while I'm driving, uh, when I hit the brake, which I'll do right now, it'll actually recharge the battery. Now you're not gonna get that much charge back, but it's actually a, a pretty big help. All right, let's price this Honda Clarity plug-in. So this is the original Honda Clarity plug-in. It's, it's gonna start at around 33.4. Now, if you wanna get the 18-inch alloy wheels, it's gonna cost you another 1,200. If you wanna get the backup uh, sensors, it's gonna cost another 500. If you wanna go above that, the Honda Touring Honda Clarity Touring is actually a little bit better. It has the uh, leather seats included and the in-house navigation, which you don't really need because both models have Apple CarPlay. All in, it's about a $36,000 car. Now, that's not including the $7,500 rebate you can get back based on where you live. Depends on where you live, so that could bring the price down way below. So it starts at $36,600 or $34,300, depending on the car you get. but. Depending on where you live, you can get a lot of money off, and that's the beauty of this electric car and most electric cars all over the place. All right, so that's the 2018 Honda Clarity in full. Uh, Easy EV gives it a 7 out of 10, which is, you know, we're very strict with our rating, so that's a great rating. I have to drive. So we give it a 7 out of 10, which is a great rating. Uh, other than that, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, and this has been another car review by EasyEV.com.